it's real fast. So after the sea aquarium, we went to this Peruvian restaurant. We had this appetizer and a few drinks. It was pretty, but it did not taste very good. We got sushi right after. And then after that, we went um, to a bar downtown. Okay, so the next day was Friday. I am completing boot camp for a cycle bar to become a cycle instructor. So this was my final test out ride and Joey got to come and my friend Emmy also was there to support me. It was really nice of them. Three, two, one. After the class was over, we went to this pier and we went on a little walk. It was super fun, super relaxing, beautiful day out. And then Friday night, we went to Super Blue Miami which is a super cool art exhibit, and here's just some footage of that.
After Super Blue, we went to Miami Mojito Company, had a drink, and then we went to dinner at Jaya at the Satai. It's a restaurant in a hotel. It is delicious. They have entertainment. The vibe is so cool. And then the restaurant was right on the beach, so after that, we walked down to the beach. Little late night stroll. Super nice and fun. <laughs> So we spent our Saturday morning at the beach and then after that we went to lunch at Sexy Fish which is this new restaurant in Brooklyn. It was really cool, so gnarly. Here are some photos that I took. After lunch, Joey took me on an airplane. We saw the view of Miami from the sky. It was so amazing. They gave us champagne. Just watch the videos. It's totally crazy. Right here, we actually flew over Ultra Music Festival that was going on this past weekend. Our pilot pointed it out to us and it was just so cool. We saw like the EDM lights and everything. And then to end up our night, we went to the Ritz Carlton bar, had a few drinks with my uncle's brother and it was really fun. We went sailing on a sailing boat this day. It was so beautiful. We did see a few dolphins and stay tuned to see some footage of those, but this was just such an incredible experience. So, we should talk. Okay, so we're on a sailboat right now. We're in Key Biscayne. Looking at the city. We're just relaxing, having a great day. Drinking some wine. Some white wine. Cheers, always. We just saw a dolphin. <laughs> So yesterday, we were on an airplane and I forgot my camera so I took videos with my phone and so we, we were above here and we looked down below there was houses on like stilts like in the middle of the ocean and so we're about to go sail right next to them and I'll show you guys those later because that's really cool. Like I can't wait to see what those look like close up. Like, that's so awesome. I was wondering like what if like the water like was dry? Like does that happen? I'm sure. Yeah. It's a, Waterproof or <laughs> uh, a lot of good insurance. <laughs> 1992, we had a Hurricane Andrew, which 
destroyed about 25 houses. Okay. We used to have 40 houses. Uh, really, out here? Andrew, more or less. Wow. wow. Some others were destroyed uh, uh, before Andrew. So after Andrew, only seven were, uh, were uh, left. Uh, and uh, now, uh, about 10 months ago, one got destroyed by fire. Oh. It's the last house that we see there. Did they get struck by lightning or no, just a house fire? It seems, it seems some kids went without authorization. They left something burning. and uh, oh, left the oven on or like candle or something? Yeah, I really don't know what they left oh. there, but uh, it ended up destroying the house. And if more than 60% of the house gets destroyed, they won't be able to rebuild, rebuild it. Wow. Yeah. So that house, they won't be able to do anything there with that. Do people live there? Or like, they're like... They, they, they were used more like for weekend entertainment of the families. Okay. And uh, most of the houses, they have the last name of the family that constructed the house. That's really cool.